everybody and welcome to the next smoke and flame quick tip now this one's going to be on the md glass um, v2 which i've shown in my three ways in flame but um more for the reason that um i've had a lot of people ask uh about it and how it works and um yeah we're gonna have a look at a way to uh you know how this uh plugin works so i've got my background and um, again this uh plugin is totally reliant on a background so the first thing i'm gonna do i'm just gonna press a pull out an action and connect that to my background so the first thing I'm going to do is just um, press M, pull out the matchbox, and I'm going to load the MD Glass V2, and I'm going to Alt-Shift uh, to parent that to the camera. And first thing, I'm just going to go Import and then Teapot, just so we can see. And if we look at the result, you see that, um, and I just press O, you see we're getting the, the glass refraction and we're getting cool stuff happening. I'm just going to quickly turn off chromatic. And you see, you know, it's... It's doing a cool job. It's doing some cool kind of glass refraction stuff. Again, we've got all our controls we can always play with. Now, the other thing to remember too, um, this effect, if I hide those, um, can be used with 3D shapes. So anything that is 3D, so if I pull out 3D shape, and let's just do a quick shape, and I'm just going to pull it out in depth and then just put on do not render. And just press O again, just so I can orbit so we can see see what's going on. Now, the first thing I'm going to do for this, because again, it is um, a 3D effect. If we start playing with the rotation of bevel, you see we can kind of dictate a bit how this guy is going to be refracting, which is quite cool. Um, again, we can always choose how much this mixes with the, uh, the front to get it to closer to blending how we'd like it, which again is a handy little effect to have and tweaker. Now, the other thing that most people a lot of time do too is um, besides using it this way, which is a, a great way. And again, um, because we are using 3D, we have our UVs and, you know, our normals. Everything gets output, which is quite cool. But the other way is um, if we just get rid of these is, again, um, what a lot of people will try and probably use this for too, which is with 3D text. So I'm just going to reset the camera and I'm just going to make the text pretty big and just pull up my depth and just press one so I can look at my output. So now if I orbit, you see, sure, we're getting um, text refractions and you know stuff's doing what we'd expect, but you know how would you build this so you could output and blend back bits that you'd like? Now that's where you know it can get a bit tricky, but um, you know it's not, it's not too bad. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna duplicate this. And then for this one, I'm just going to go to our media tab where we have a texture loaded already. And I'm just going to go no bin and plus diffuse. So now that guy um, in output, I should have uh, actually alt E these so they're not part of this output. I'm going to copy this output and then enable these guys, hide this one and hide the glass effect. So now if we look at the output of that, you see it's doing exactly what you expect. It's just the output of the, the uh, diffuse texture. So again, um, that's what we want. And what we're going to use for this is the albedo which is pretty much a diffuse with nothing else on it so that that will work now the next thing is just again duplicating making another output first so i'm going to copy that and then we'll duplicate this guy and i'm just going to throw these away and we're going to use an old trick which is color source and i'm just going to make one red and back click duplicate make this one green and back click duplicate and we'll make this one blue so now if we just add three new inputs and quickly connect them up. And then if we look at schematic and quickly throw these away. But for this one, this material, we're going to make multi-material. And again, we'll just quickly Alt-E and enable these as outputs. And now if we go to this blue and just press D and we'll add that as diffuse, but we'll add that to the front. And then for the green, we'll add that as diffuse, but to the extrude. And for the blue, uh, the red, sorry, we'll add that as a diffuse, but to the back. So the first thing is just pressing Alt-2. And then we'll just go in tilde just to make sure we got all this piped up, right? So layer one, uh, we'll output layer one is correct. We've got our, our glass effect, which is exactly what we want. Layer two, if we click on here and then click on the output, you see it's, it's our, um, we still have to hide these because we actually want the uh, albedo output so I'll just alt E and hide that and you see now we're having the right output for that so I'm just going to press M again and then for the final output I just want to hide this guy and then press M and again just look at this guy and you see we have our 
green and blue mat for now because really it's going off the front and the extrude. So now again, this is how you can play with blending because again, um, you know, sometimes you get something right in here and it might be, you know, physically accurate kind of what it's doing, but sometimes you want to blend in, you know, different areas um, on the front or the extrude. So that's becomes pretty easy. So I'm just going to pull out a uh, separate and I'm going to do that with not this guy, but our, uh, sorry, one second with this guy, which will be our albedo. So I just have to enable him. So that was my fault. So if I just make him part of that and I'll just go, so we like the green. So we're going to bring back the green. So the extrusion we want to be, um, you know, our, our glassy guy. So if I just press C and let's start comping this. So again, the front will be the albedo output, which is what you'd expect. And we'll go back, which will be the glass output. And we'll just make the mat the green output. And you see, it's actually the wrong way around. So I'll just quickly swap these guys. So I'll make the front and then that the back. And you see now we've got a nice little blend of our, our extruded text and the glass effect. And again, we can always dull these in and play with, um, you know, pre molt and stuff like that. But, you know, uh, again, sky's the limit with this plugin. Remember, it relies on uh, displace, uh, displacement shapes too. So anything in 3D, it's going to do some cool refractions and um, you'll be able to create some cool effects. So that's it for this quick tip, guys. Stay tuned for more.